Okay, now this video has no assignment with it. Okay, it's just a single sheet. Now you're going to solve the system of equations without graphing it. There's two ways to do it, but only each way works in specific situations, x, y. So that's so you're like, how am I going to find out that graph? Well, here's how. The for this method is called substitution. In substitution, you will have a letter by itself. Now it doesn't have to be y, okay? Because we're not graphing. It has to be y when you graph, but we ain't graphing. It could be x or y. So right there, I have a y all by itself, okay, on one side of an equation, because here are my equals right here. I mean, that's not, they're not by themselves. y is by itself here. So I box up y, and that's called my base variable, base. I always label that base when it's by itself like that. And I circle the other side of the base equation. Now, here's what you do over here. You write the non-base equation, okay? The equation without the base. It's called the off-base. X plus Y equals negative 32. Now, when you write the off-base equation, just you are going to want to apply 1s if these don't have coefficients. And whatever your base variable is, it can be x or y. It doesn't have to be y. That's when you have graph. If I'm graphing, I need y by itself specifically. But when I'm using substitution, it could be y or x. So what I do then is I replace my base variable. Whatever my base letter is, I put in parentheses. And then I quickly scribble it out. And above it, I put 3x because that's what y equals. So I have 1x plus 1, that was a 1 there, and then a parentheses with 3x equals negative 32. Now we can solve for x quite easily here. Now, you do have to mark the multiplication, and that's just one thing. That's just a 1 times 3x, okay? That's 3x, so I drop that down cross that out and then I also have a 1x over there. Now the x's are on the same side so you don't take you can do the v. So it's 4x equals negative 32. Okay. Now you're down to simplifying it. You just have times 4 so you divide by 4. So x equals negative 8. Now you're like great how do I get y? Well I'm going to now use the base equation. Now you can use either equation, but for now, you need to now use the equation that has y by itself. Okay? That's easy. Now, you're going to replace the x with negative 8. You have that answer. Okay? Parenthesize it, put negative 8. Remember, that's times. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. Okay? Boom. Obviously, I would not be able to find that on a graph. My graphs are not big enough, so that's why we need other ways. Okay, 6y plus 5x equals 8, and then x equals negative 3y minus 7. Okay? Now, you are not graphing. You are not graphing. You do not have to have the y by itself. It could be the x. Now that I'm not graphing, I don't care which one it is by itself as long as I can find a letter by itself. So here are my equals. Right there, x can serve as a base too, just like y can. Now, write your off-base equation. 6y plus 5x equals 8. Now that my base is x, now that parentheses I create goes to x. And the x is scribbled out and replaced with negative 3y minus 7. Yes, those two terms together. Negative 3y minus 7. So that is going into the parentheses. So we have 6y, c plus, c5. Now I open my parentheses and I insert negative 3y minus 7 before closing the parentheses. And after the parentheses has closed, we have equals 8. Now we solve for y, okay, y. So dot right there, make that a plus negative, and distribute, okay. 
So I take the 5 times negative 3y and negative 7. So that is negative 15y and negative 35. Negative 15y, negative 35. So drop the plus. I'm writing like crap. And then you have to add your 6y into the equation. Okay. Now, you solve for y just like you solve for x. They're on the same side. 6 plus negative 15 is negative 9y. I've still got the plus negative 35 and then equals 8. Now I can solve for y using the inverse operations, okay? Meaning I have times and plus. So I get rid of the plus number. You got to add 35. 8 plus 35 is 43. Now divide each side by negative 9. Then 43 divided by negative 9. Don't like that, but, but I did it right. I know I did. So I go second, PRB equals negative 4 and 7 ninths. Now that's your Y. Okay. Sometimes you find Y first. Sometimes you find X first when using this method. Now when we solve for X, use the dang equation that's got the X by itself. Okay. Easiest way I can do it. So I parenthesize Y. Replace that with negative 4 and 7 ninths. And remember, that means times right there. So x equals negative 3 times negative 4 and 7 ninths minus 7. Okay? And the beauty here is if x is by itself, I can just multiply first. third, cross that out, and then I can just add, keep that on the calculator, and then you can just add your negative 7, or minus 7, whatever you want to do, 7 and 1 third. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be confusing to start with, I'm not going to lie, you get better at it with practice, okay? x equals y minus 3, 3x plus 4y equals 7. Okay, substitution, you're looking for a letter by itself. It doesn't have to be Y, as long as you can find one of the two. There's X, okay? X is going to be the base. Okay, and then I write the off base over here. The parentheses goes to the base. And you're replacing that with the expression Y minus 3. So we have 3. And then I open my parentheses and just put y minus 3 in the parentheses. After the parentheses is closed, we have to add 4y equals 7. Okay, we're going to solve for y first. So this is what we're solving for first. Okay, if you want to make that plus negative do, if you want to apply a 1, you can do that as well. So it's 3 to 1y, 3 to negative 3, not to 4y. 4y is not in the parentheses. So it's 3y and negative 9. So I drop the plus, you have 3y, negative 9. You gotta remember to add your 4y somewhere. It can, I don't care where, here or here, but it's gotta be there. Okay. Okay, now I can solve for y. Combine the y's by adding. You don't take out the smaller one, that's when they're on opposite sides. That's 7y plus negative 9. Okay, so I got 7 times y, and I take out the 9 by adding, so that's 16. Now this is a decimal, and I'm, I'm doing it right, I guarantee I am. Okay, that's crap, so I go second PRB equals, and y is 2 and 2 sevenths. Okay, now solve for your x. Well, you got x by itself, okay? So x equals y minus 3. y is now out and replaced with its answer from over there. Okay. Okay. 
If you want to make it plus negative, do it. You don't have to multiply. It's just addition. Okay, there's no multiplying. So it's 2 ABC, 2 ABC, 7 plus negative 3. Negative 5 over 7. The only operation you had to do there was add. Okay. All right, next one. 3x plus 2y equals 23. 1 half x minus 4 equals y. All righty, righty, righty. Is, um, you have a letter by itself. Look carefully. It's just over here. That's okay. It's by itself, ain't it? Okay. So I write the off base. 3x plus 2y equals 23. Remember, these both need multiplying numbers. If they don't have one, I would apply a 1. Now, y is your base. The parentheses always is applied to the base. And we replace that with 1 half x minus 4. So you got 3x plus 2. Now open a parentheses and put 1 half x minus 4. Close parentheses and after we close the parentheses we have it equal to 23. Okay, we're solving for x. 2 is my multiplying number. I have to distribute it to two terms in there. So 2 times 1 half x and 2 times negative 4. Okay, plus 1x, negative 8, plus 3x. Okay, I combine my x's, 4x. So we're solving for x first this time. Whatever letter I end up with, I mean, that's where we go. Sometimes x, sometimes y. So you get times 4 plus negative 8. Take out your negative 8 by adding. That's 31. Divide by 4. 31 divided by 4 is a decimal, but it's not a bad decimal. I'm 7.75 works. I mean, if you want to do second PRB equals, that's fine, but that's an okay decimal. That's an exact decimal. Find y. Use the one where the y is by itself. Okay. So 1 half x minus 4 equals y, and we are putting 7.75 in place of the x. Okay. Now line it up. You got 1 half parentheses, 7 points times the parentheses, minus 4 equals y. Okay, you got a times first. You got to do your multiplying first. You got two operations, a times and a minus or a plus negative, but you have to do the times first. Times comes before the adding or subtracting. Okay, 3.875. And then just add what you have left. Okay. Okay. So.